So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a beautiful art wall print for under $20. Are you guys ready to check it out? What's up you guys, my name is Samantha Huger. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, if you like stuff like this, or this, or maybe a little bit of this, or maybe even this, then you're definitely gonna wanna hit that subscribe button down below. I do videos on these things all the time, so I'd love to have you back. Today we have a really fun DIY project for you. It was inspired by one of my favorite bloggers. Her name is Kara Loren. I will put a link below for her blog. I followed her for years, you guys. I love her, I love her. What inspired me to do this DIY project was a picture I saw from my girl, Kara Loren. She posted a photo of her office. I love the artwork that she had in her office but I am balling on a budget, if you can understand. So I decided I was gonna do something very similar, but do it on a, you know, design on a dime. All right, let's get started. So what you're gonna wanna do first is to figure out what you want your wall artwork to look like. This is great because if you want to do some of your own family photos, it makes a great gift. It makes a great decoration in your home. You can display your family photos. You can display your own photography. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to staples.com or officedepot.com and you're gonna to wanna to upload your photo that you want. And what I did is I chose a 36 by 48, right? On this. Okay, I had to double check. Yes, I did a 36 by 48 engineering print. It's really important that you do an engineering print. This is really best to do in black and white and just note that unless your photo is extremely high resolution, it's gonna be pixelated, but that's okay because it's gonna look great from far away. It's not gonna look so great up close, but it's gonna look really good when you're across the room. You're also gonna need a piece of foam post board. I just picked this up at Michael's. This is the key, you guys, to make this project as cheap as possible is to use a Michael's coupon. They have coupons every single week for 40 to 50% off of a single item as long as it's not on sale. Usually these things aren't on sale, so I got this for 40% off. Um, this is a tri-fold foam board. So it's 40% off of $16.99, it was a really great deal. So you're gonna need one of these. You're also gonna need a good pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife, preferably an X-Acto knife, but I don't have one and I'm making this project as cheap as possible. So I'm just gonna use what I've got. I'm gonna use my scissors. And then also you're gonna want to get some kind of spray adhesive. Again, I suggest going to either Joann's or Michael's and using one of their 40 to 50% off coupons so you can get this even cheaper. I think I got this for 350 because I used a coupon for the spray adhesive. Since my print wasn't exactly 36 by 48, I'm gonna to have to trim down both the print and the styrofoam. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to trim the print to the size that I want it and then I'm going to lay it over the foam board and mark off the size on it. And the foam board has this really nice grid on it so it'll be easier to cut in a straight line. And then I can go ahead and attach the print to the foam board. Since I had to cut the edges myself, I want this piece to look like it's like a piece of gallery wrapped canvas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure this out on the board using the grid, but I'm going to cut the board one grid point smaller than what the print is. So the board is going to be smaller than the print. That way I can make the print wrap around the board. So it'll look perfectly seamless and it won't show the size of the foam core when it's on the wall. Side note, if you have an X-Acto knife and a straight edge, definitely use that because cutting this with scissors was a total bitch. But I'm not too worried about the edges because it's going to be, the paper is going to wrap around it. I know that the paper will kind of like make it look straight at least. So I'm gonna at least kind of press down some of these harsh edges um, that I made just to kind of help it to wrap around it a little bit better. Next, you're gonna wanna lay down some towels underneath your foam board to protect your floors. Unless you're doing this out in the garage, which if I had a garage, 
that's where I'd be doing it because it'd be so much easier. But I'm laying down the towels. These are like extra like rag towels that I have basically so that I can spray the adhesive without getting spray adhesive all over my floors. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to line up your print how you're going to want it to lay on the foam board. So I've got it all lined up so that I've got about, it's about a half inch edge over each edge of the foam board. And I'm just going to lay this out like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over my print, wipe off any dust on here, make sure I got it all lined up, shake up my spray adhesive. And I'm going to slowly roll the print onto where I just sprayed. definitely got sticky along them and I don't want to lay the print down flat where it got some of the adhesive on it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use regular masking tape, scotch tape, whatever kind of tape you have. This is what I have. I don't really know why I have this bright orange tape. And I'm just going to tape along the back and wrap all of the edges. super, super professional, but for under $25 for a badass piece of artwork, I'm not going to complain. There's definitely some things that I would have done differently if I were to do it again. I would definitely get an X-Acto knife to cut that foam board. If I could do the spray adhesive outside, I would because listen, pretty sure I need to go uh, mop down my floors now because they're all sticky. But anyways, I hope you guys love this project. If you liked this video, please make sure that you share it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I can't wait to bring you guys more videos like this. So please comment below. Tell me what you guys think. If you have any suggestions, just let me know. I'd be happy to hear them. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.